this movie had so much plot that I was like, whoa, hold on. I don't have some I don't have hands to hold all this plot. So it's about fucking pandemic. And it's it's called uh it's called Strickler's disease, not whatever I thought it was like Stickler's disease. The stickler. I'm just very particular. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I, uh, and I start sneezing. Uh, turn the fucking lights off when you leave. <laughs> It's uh, it's carried by cockroaches in the subway system. Surprise, surprise! The dirtiest thing in the world is full of a <laughs> disease. Because this does this disease only affects kids. There's a lot of them. Yeah, there's yeah they they have so many that they have what I call dying child alley, which is the hallway in the hospital where they have everybody curtained up like that Limp Biscuit uh, music video for Boiler. Yeah, except yeah. in that music video, people are fucking. <laughs> I hope that's not happening behind the curtain. <laughs> this is the worst Wizard of Oz sequel. <laughs> it's really nice that they got married. Sure. Because normally people just fuck in the woods <laughs> in horror movies. Um, 30,000 cockroaches in the scene where this scientist lady introduces a manufactured species in order to kill them off and get rid of the disease. The bugs that she makes, though, are CGI. Put a little black stripe on the cockroach. <laughs> I would have just put a sticker on a couple just of bugs. Just get two more bugs from the bug store. It, it took children dying for them to finally do something about the cockroaches in New York City. <laughs> it's not a big deal until kids die. Yeah. Like, a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot yeah, have to die. Yeah, most. The Asian man who runs this fly-by-night church. The priest. And you know it's a dirty church just by the fact that it is. Um, this Asian man escapes uh, from something. Mm -hmm, but it's a, it, it wants out of this door that he's got closed. Yeah. So he busts right through there and fucking, I mean, he didn't even need to. Because this Asian guy's already dangling over the fucking side of the building, basically. And immediately, one of the cables breaks. That it's guy's head lands on the same can and it ends up painting a mirror. It sure does. It really ruins a nice mirror that is there for no reason. In the trash. There's no blood whatsoever, so that really must have been a nice, soft paint can. Yeah, so he's fine. It's all yeah. good. Oh, yeah. All we really know is what kind of shoes he's wearing. Because uh, <laughs> there's a boy in the window. He's fucking the Rain Man is shoes. The, yes, he is, man. Oh, he, he knows nothing of card games, but... Shoelock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> he won't call for help, but he'll absolutely be like, yeah, Windsor high tops. Yeah. And he'll also make note of the killer's shoes. Oh, yeah. And how funny they are. Yeah, he, he, he seems to talk a lot about this Mr. Funny Shoes who comes around at night and yeah. skulks around outside his window. Hmm. We have some concerns. I would look into this, but I'm busy thinking about shining shoes. All the polish has gone to my head. I'm, I'm here trying to make a, 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 a wooden boy. <laughs> his funny shoes are actually bug clicks, which, if you have a brain at all, you've put together that this is a bug. All right. Yeah, that's the whole thing because yep. it's a mimic. It yeah. It, it the movie's called Mimic, and so that like when you see that and you know that you go oh, bug. Yeah, she's so she, yeah. She, I don't know why there's these kids in the lab. They got a fucking black market trade deal with this scientist for bugs and money for some reason. Oh my god! So they've got a they got a cornflake box. This is the one that that she's got to pay extra for, but does not. And they're worried that it's dead. And their way of checking is to shake it and then blow in it like a Nintendo cartridge. So, uh, a little jump scare. Yeah, small one. A couple mm -hmm. things just happen in this movie that just happen, and then it's inconsequential. Now, if there was any illusion as to whether or not this is a giant bug that looks like a guy... Yeah, I, I couldn't... I couldn't stress this more. It's a giant bug that looks like a guy. And, uh, we still gotta wait, like, 40 minutes for them to figure that out. So, uh, yeah, well, here, here, here we are. Uh, because, uh, for some reason, something's going on with that fucking storage room that's right down the subway. The second they get down to that second level of the subway, the entire movie goes to shit. What? That's when it fucking happens. Why? Why? Oh, no. for so many reasons. Jay. Number one, I need it to be known that not only is Geppetto... Because he's shining this beat cop shoes and the security guard shoes. Not only is he a shoe shiner, he's also a bootlicker. I feel like that's, that's all this scene was. He's just like, hey, it's boy, that, and then, shine the shoe with me. And he's like, nah, dad, I'm a look at other shoes. They got some kind of lead about this fucking storage room, so they have to go inspect it. But they got to make sure that the security guard is busy having his shoes shined. That, uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Funny Shoes is back, and even though the CDC has uh, caution taped and uh, boarded off the front door, he finds his way in because he's a goddamn insect, and that's what they do. Yeah. Have a crack in something? I'm getting through that shit. And this is when the whole flashlight scene, because they're exploring around here for some goddamn reason, I forget. Uh, I, she had gotten some of the DNA from the bug, 
And, yeah. And she's like, oh, yeah, it's either a leaf cutter ant or this bug we made. Can't be either any. Right. There's no other answer. And, like, she looked right at it. You should know the bug. Yeah, you, should, you have it. You have a dead one in a jar in your house. Yeah, like, you you made it. It's a bug you made. How do you not know what it looks like? We let the bugs go. I didn't want to go back down to the gross subway tunnel. Are you kidding me? That's I'm where, married now. That's where poop and pee and rats are. Ugh. There's fucking poop. Down there, it's it's a tunnel for yeah. poop and I, pee to go. I see plenty of it at street level where I live. Yeah, New York City. There's, <laughs> there's just poo and pee. More like wherever. poo York City. So yeah, no, we didn't go down there again just to make sure everything was working. I'm just, I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's a. We made the bug to do the thing, and it it fucking didn't maybe work. I don't know. <laughs> We're finally in the sewer. We're finally doing something after an hour. And this is where, uh, you know, they really make up for uh, the fact that the first half of the movie was a whole lot of almost nothing by making the something nearly impossible to see. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. They really... Because, like, it's pretty shitty CGI. I'm not going to lie. Yep, it sure fucking the fuck is. I'm glad they kept it in the shadows. Oh, no, they didn't. They, oh, they did the opposite I'm, I'm of really, that. It was just really difficult to see, and I'm so happy about that. Oh, man. This is the part that sucks, because the walls are gooey, and there's, like, a bug thing dangling that looks like the thing from the thing. Fucking... But, yeah, I can't see anything. There's a real gross uh, dissection of this fucking big bug at the same time, because the scientist is still above ground dealing with this bug. Mm -hmm. I much preferred just cutting back to that so we could see it. Oh, there's a human face here. Right, but also and she it splits because it's all fucked up. So she folds it over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a weird pattern on the bug's shell or something. Yeah, she's got a. And that's it. Takes half the movie to figure out why it's called mimic. She's in the fucking subway, waiting for her husband to come up from the subway for all of ten seconds before asking a cloaked stranger's shadow what time it is, and then being surprised when she becomes abducted. Lonely, it's just the two of them on the subway, you're in New York City, and he clearly has a trench coat on because look at his blobby-ass shadow. Yeah, look at how tall and slim. And silent. Yes, it's almost like exactly, dis actually, I guess she wasn't there, I'm gonna give him that. that sure. About the description of the serial killer. Maybe act like you're in the city you're in, though. Why wasn't she eaten immediately? Well, here's the problem, I think that she's pregnant with bugs. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> let me tell ya. Um, fucking Geppetto, the second he finds her, forgets that his son is missing. He sure does. He forgets until they say some shit that would make it plausible that he's dead, and just goes, well, I guess he's fucking dead, isn't he? If you've ever seen, um, just like this, a shot of any sewer, picture that copy and pasted, and then also, uh, filled with slime and, and uh, CG bugs. Copy and paste it in a circle so that when they walk, there's no stopping point. For fuck's sake. Uh, and she finds like a, she sees like a pipe and there's like a sword in the stone situation, but instead of like the stone, <laughs> it's, a, it's a dead guy. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if he's all the way dead because I'm pretty sure he groans. I didn't even notice. I'm pretty sure he groans and she goes, oh, that's well, fucking I still funny. need this pipe though. He hears the fucking sound and he spins around. Nothing's there. Something's there. Some, you, something you is there. You hear a sound? Something's the fuck there. This doesn't make any fucking sense, Jay. <laughs> when the insect shows up because they're all together again, mm -hmm. and the, they need to uh, find some kind of shelter, and there's a train car all the way across the subway sewer, miraculously, I don't know if it amputated its own legs, five out of the six of them, but it moves at about half the speed it was before so that they can make it to the train car. Uh, and, and it takes the security guard unloading what I would call a curious amount of bullets. For the gun? For the gun. Yeah. He, he decides to self-sacrifice, and he gets his whole face chomped. Oh, he sure does. Uh, best death in the movie. So this is, uh, we're gonna fucking, we're gonna examine the thing that is now dead, and this is when we're gonna find human organs inside, and this is when the characters realize why the movie is called Mimic. Two-thirds. Ah, yes, you're correct. You're right. So good. So close to the end of the movie do they put this all together. You, you can tell you can tell bugs are bugs mm. sort of by by the way they are. <laughs> and they they uh like now what's interesting to me is that you would have to be absolutely funny-eyed to think that that looked like a person at all. <laughs> you would have to uh have your eyes closed to to be tricked. Yeah. I mean, it's only been three years. How could it go from being a tiny little bug to a person? 
I wrote my theory before they explain it uselessly, which was just someone's been fucking the bugs. <laughs> I was like, I bet there's some fucking group of guys down here because they're vaguely human just fucking the shit out of these bugs. And it's a person hybrid of some kind. Which one of you mole people's been fucking these bugs down here? The larva's big enough. Hey, none of these bugs are walking right. They, they just, they're just disemboweling their, their friend in front of them through the window. Yeah. And just rubbing his blood and guts all over the walls. Yeah. That didn't piss them off. No, they were like, I need five. They were, they were, they were just pleased with the smell, and then yeah. they, and then they buggered off. <laughs> That's what they did. I, I think they, uh, they, they come up with the, the conclusion that eventually these bugs are going to leave the tunnels and yeah, colonize yeah, yeah. America. We got to deal with it by getting rid of that fertile male. Yeah. That's the only one. As per the conversation that I had with children earlier, I don't need to hear about how fucking <laughs> ropey his loads are. <laughs> So now uh, we got to get the fuck out of here. So in this dirty old train car from literally, as per explained by the characters, 30 years ago. Pop on over to the circuit breaker that's not at all rusted out and chewed on by rats that live in the sewer. And there's no way that yeah. that's neither of those yeah, things yeah, are yeah, possible. The, the, yeah, yeah. No, uh, for sure. And, and just reconnect it with all of your CDC electrician's knowledge. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, CDC guy's just like, yeah, there's some wires and shit. I could probably get some power going here. I'm just the CDC guy, so I know a lot about wiring. Yeah. Hey, the, the, an entire subway system, mm -hmm. and you and you absolutely, I, I know for sure I can do this. There can't be any more than two wires. It turns out there aren't. Not even taped. <laughs> Not even remotely taped. They're just hanging I'm gonna here. I'm going to grab them with my bare hands and try and shove them together. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to take these, and I'm just going to do what I can. We're we're at the we're at the uh, the climax. Uh, the bugs are encroaching on him. He floods the room with gas. He's got the Zippo from I think Giuseppe, and uh, he goes to light it. It's not lighting, so he's like, "Oh fuck!" The one smart decision that I saw anybody in this movie make was because there's gas in the room. Just hit a piece of metal with a piece of metal. It's fine, and then the room explodes with all the bugs in it. It explodes so hard. That Susan, who's at the ground floor, gets blown off the platform by the fireball. Male, despite having fallen down the dumbwaiter at least, but at worst, being in the room of the explosion, also fine and in the subway. So Susan goes, that's the fertile male. Great, thanks for telling me now. What luck, here comes a fucking subway train. Oh dude, perfect. Oh yeah, tell me about that. Oh. At this point, like, I, my hands have been thrown up so many times that I wasn't even surprised. So, yeah, reuniting scene, and then fucking up the stairs from the subway comes Peter totally unscathed. Yeah. But and I, I, I lost it, but that's fine. Turns out he dove into some fucking water when I blinked. Even, even though, yeah, this Fuck guy movie. this guy was like, hey, yeah, we uh, we swept it down there, and, you know, nothing could survive. Well, how about a, how about a human? Nah, not even a guy. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk away. And uh, now I want you and the autistic boy to wait there at the stairs and just count all the shoes. Because <laughs> that's what he we does. We know he loves that. And he stands there and he's like, yeah, there's a shoe. It's not. Uh, that's, like, that's a good shoe there, too. Yeah. Ooh. It's not my first rodeo with this boy. <laughs> and then. Um, oh, yeah. They do the thing where it's the same shape as the bug. I think so. At the bottom of the stairs. And I then think... as he comes out of the light, it's fucking Peter. I, th I think so. Suck my dick. And of then, course I'm not going to think it's a bug. I, I, I just watched all of them die. Listen, Jay. I'm listening. So we know why you didn't like. Yeah. And and I I fixed that for you. You did. So now here, you're going to fix this for me. Sure. How come why when uh, he comes up out of the sewer and they embrace, what he says to her is, we're going to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> why is... Uh, and, and, and like and like in in the middle of this hug is the fuck it's the boy. Oh, right next to this boy, I want to tell you about the cum I put in you. I'll and, then how it's, and how it's formed a child in your belly. Two out of ten for mimic. Prompt two out of ten for mimic. I gave it three. I'm glad they're both low. I was worried. <laughs>